Hi, I'm Leah. And I'm Tanya. And we're lucky enough to be studying computer science. Hi, I'm Tanya. We think it's terrible that 90% of schools don't teach it. They definitely didn't offer it at my high school. Thanks, thanks. So we're trying to make this video to show that anybody can learn. We want to get 10 million students to do the Hour of Code. Hour of Code. Hour of Code. The Hour of Code. Hour of Code. Hour of Code. Hour of Code. The Hour of Code. How do you get him to get to the sunflower? He needs to do some actions. I got it. <laughs> hey. oh. And then we'll run it and see what happens. Uh, <laughs> amazing. Ah, there oh. we go. You just wrote your first program. I wrote it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the code that you just wrote. Very awesome. I thought like code was like FBI hacker symbols <laughs> and stuff. A little bit of problem solving, a little bit of logic. It's like instruction. Programming is a lot easier today. Don't just play on your phone. Program. All right. Awesome. How does someone go about getting a job? Maybe take an online class, find a class at a community college, <laughs> get one of the best paying jobs in the world. I think medicine's moving into the whole computer age. Technology touches every part of our lives. If you can create technology, you can change the world. So we're excited that you are participating in today's Hour of Code. We just did two lines of code. Three lines of code. Four lines. Seven lines. Five lines. Five lines. Five lines. Nine 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 lines. Everybody in this country should learn how to program a computer. And I just completed the hour of code. It's actually really easy to learn. Girls should learn this too. Understand that language that's gonna be the, the future. Anyone can learn computer science. And you can learn too. Jack Dorsey, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, all of y'all, I'm learning. Give it a shot. Hi, I'm Leah. And I'm Tanya. And we're lucky enough to be studying computer science. Hi, I'm Tanya. We think it's terrible that 90% <laughs> of schools don't teach it. They definitely didn't offer it at my high school. Thanks, thanks. So we're trying to make this video to show that anybody can learn. We want to get 10 million students to do the Hour of Code. Hour of Code. Hour of Code. The Hour of Code. Hour of Code. Hour of Code. Hour of Code. The Hour of Code. How do you get him to get to the sunflower? He needs to do some actions. I got it. <laughs> hey. oh. And then we'll run it and see what happens. Uh, <laughs> amazing. Ah, there oh. we go. You just wrote your first program. I wrote it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the code that you just wrote. Very awesome. I thought like code was like FBI hacker symbols and stuff. <laughs> a little bit of problem solving, a little bit of logic. It's like instruction. Programming is a lot easier today. Don't just play on your phone. Program. All right. Awesome. How does someone go about getting a job? Maybe take an online class, find a class at a community college, <laughs> get one of the best paying jobs in the world. I think medicine's moving into the whole computer age. Technology touches every part of our lives. If you can create technology, you can change the world. So we're excited that you are participating in today's Hour of Code. We just did two lines of code. Three lines of code. Four lines. Seven lines. Five lines. Three lines. Five lines. Five lines. Five lines. Five lines. Five lines. 60 lines of code. 99 lines. 60 lines. 18 lines of code. 75 lines of code. Doesn't matter how old you are. Todos lo pueden hacer. The hour of code. 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 Whether you're a young man or a young woman, whether you live in a city or a rural area, Everybody in this country should learn how to program a computer. And I just completed the hour of code. It's actually really easy to learn. Girls should learn this too. Understand that language that's going to be the, the future. Anyone can learn computer science. And you can learn too. Jack Dorsey, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, all of y'all, I'm learning. Give it a shot. Hi, I'm Leah. And I'm Tanya. And we're lucky enough to be studying computer science. Hi, I'm Tanya. 
We think it's terrible that 90% of schools don't teach it. They definitely didn't offer it at my high school. So we're trying to make this video to show that anybody can learn. We want to get 10 million students to do the Hour of Code. Hour of Code. Hour of Code. The Hour of Code. Hour of Code. Hour of Code. Hour of Code. How do you get him to get to the sunflower? He needs to do some actions. I got it. Hey. <laughs> oh. And then we'll run it and see what happens. Uh, <laughs> amazing. Ah, there we go. You just wrote your first program. I wrote it? Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> this is the code that you just wrote. Very awesome. I thought like code was like FBI hacker symbols and stuff. <laughs> a little bit of problem solving, a little bit of logic. It's like instruction. Programming is a lot easier today. Don't just play on your phone. Program. All right. Awesome. How does someone go about getting a job? Maybe take an online class, find a class at a community college, <laughs> get one of the best paying jobs in the world. I think medicine's moving into the whole computer age. Technology touches every part of our lives. If you can create technology, you can change the world. So we're excited that you are participating in today's Hour of Code. We just did two lines of code. Three lines of code. Four lines. Seven lines. Five lines. Five lines. Sixty lines of code. Ninety-nine lines. Sixty lines. Eighteen lines of code. Seventy-five lines of code. Doesn't matter how old you are. Todos lo pueden hacer. The hour of code. 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 Whether you're a young man or a young woman, whether you live in a city or a rural area. Everybody in this country should learn how to program a computer. And I just completed the hour of code. It's actually really easy to learn. Girls should learn this too. Understand that language that's going to be the, the future. Anyone can learn computer science. And you can learn too. Jack Dorsey, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, all of y'all, I'm learning. Give it a shot. Hello, hello everyone and good afternoon and welcome to our Hour of Code webinar lesson 2. So now we're going to discuss coding with Anna and Elsa. So uh, first of all, I would like to greet Happy Mother's Day para po sa mga mothers na, na, na attendees natin ngayon sa ating webinar. So again, I would like to introduce myself just like before. I'm Engineer Kid Arthur D. Puncardas. I'm an instructor, facilitator in the Maritime Academy of Asia and the Pacific here in Bataan. So I've been teaching robotics for three years already. I'm also the faculty in charge for the robotics club in our school. So now uh, I can see that we are already 74 viewers, 74. So although we are not yet 100%, I think we can uh, start our discussion. Please tell me if you agree. Yes, we may now move on. Okay. So before we start, I will greatly appreciate it if you will subscribe to our channel, YouTube channel, Curious Vlog. So this channel uh, that is currently providing our live stream for this webinar. If you haven't subscribed yet. So yung mga nakasubscribe na po, maraming salamat. So uh, we, in the future, we will be posting uh, robotics tutorial and coding tutorial. So again, um... Just like before po, si Ma'am Jenny Lu is will be present in our chat room to answer some of your questions if I will not be able to answer. So let's start. So for the preparation, so punta mo po na tayo sa preparation. So in this webinar, this requires uh, use of two windows. So yung isang window po kasi is para ma-view ninyo itong live stream na ito. Habang nag yung another window para makapag- um, uh, ma, ma open niyo yung activity, yung coding activity website, which is the code.org. So I suggest if you're using laptop, you you make a split screen or a two window position side by side. So parang kagaya po nung nasa screen ngayon. Okay. So 
So, kung wala naman po kayong laptop, if you are using a cellphone or smartphone, smart gadgets, so I suggest you use two smart gadgets. So, kung, pwede naman, kung may mahiraman po tayo, pwede po tayong manghiram muna ng gadget para dalawa po yung magamit natin para di tayo mahirapan. So, this is for your convenience lang po. Para yung isa, continuously viewing the webinar live stream and the other one is to open the the exercise or the activity coding activity website. So, magkakandak tayo ng uh, uh, problem solving sa coding uh, website while viewing or watching the video. Okay. So, kung wala namang choice at isang smart gadget, smartphone lang talaga ang gamit ninyo, pwede naman pong ano na lang. Pero medyo mahirap lang po yun yung parang maglilipat-lipat lang tayo ng windows. No? So, kung walang choice, okay lang din po yun. Okay. So, any question before we start? Okay. Ayan, so may mga comments na po tayo. Happy Mother's Day po sa lahat. So, I think ang uunahin po natin ngayon is re-ready ko lang. Kunti pa lang pa lang. Unahin na lang muna natin yung ano. What is our code? Okay po. So let us move on to our topic. So we, I've already discussed this in, on my previous webinar. Pero ulitin po natin for the purpose or for the benefits of those who were not able to attend my last webinar. So we will now discuss what is the hour of code. So, an hour of code, which is what we are doing now, is a one-hour introduction to computer science. So, this is basically, um, actually, ano lang naman to, minimum of one hour na ibibigay natin na lecture or activity sa mga students natin para sa introduction ng computer science. So, designed to demystify code. So, from the title itself, uh, from the title implies the hour of code. To show that anybody can learn the basics and to broaden participation in the field of computer science. So that means any subject under computer science can be discussed in the hour of code. So in this webinar, most probably hindi, lalagpas po tayo ng one hour kasi um, I will also consider the, the possibility of having slow uh, internet connection. So yung mabagal po internet connection, medyo mahirapan pong makapag-catch up. So, that maglalag, uh, expect na po natin na lalagpos po tayo ng one hour. Although, hour of code po ang title nito. So, ano naman po ito? Uh, kumbaga, ah, ah, dito? Dahil nga po ay online tayo ngayon. No? So, pero in, uh, basically, kung offline po ito, ibibigyan ninyo sa classroom setup, basically, matatapos po ito ng one hour. So, anyone can learn. Sabi dito, anyone can learn, no experience needed. So basically, wala po tayong prerequisite para sa hour of code. Kahit sino, kahit walang experience sa robotics or coding, walang experience sa computer science, pwede pong matuto dito sa hour of code. Kasi ang activities natin is basic lang po. Okay, so no need to install any apps and no robotics equipment needed in the hour of code. Um, actually, in the code.org po na website, meron tayong activities doon na hindi kailangan ng internet connection, hindi kailangan ng online. Meron silang offline activities na tinatawag. So, kung meron na kayong account sa code.org, makikita po ninyo yun. Pag nagkikreate na tayo ng section, makikita ninyo sa activities, may mga offline activities po sila. Okay. So, just type your question in the chat room po kung may question tayo. Okay. So, now, proceed naman tayo sa what is code.org. So, code.org is basically a website na gagamitin natin para sa ating coding activity. Launched in January 2013 by Iranian American Brothers Hadi Partuvi and Ali Partuvi. So, an this is a non-profit organization, an eponymous website that aims to encourage people to learn computer science. So, marami pong activities na pwede natin gamitin sa, sa code.org na pwede natin gamitin para sa hour of code activity. Either, sabi ko nga kanina, 
either offline or online activities. Let's move on. Okay, that's it for our introduction. So this will be our learning outcomes for this webinar. Discuss what is Blockly. Demonstrate writing a code using Blockly in code.org. So solve problems with Anna and Elsa by writing the correct Blockly code in code.org. So this time, uh, last time po kasi nag-conduct tayo ng maze, classic maze you, uh, by coding Angry Birds. Um, sino pa ba yun? Angry Birds, Plants vs. Zombies, tsaka yung Ice Age na characters. So this time we will be using Anna and Elsa, the characters from the Frozen, from the movie, animated movie Frozen. So demonstrate the steps in creating a section and activity in code.org for teachers. Uh, so this one, hindi po natin i-discuss ngayon sa webinar, but the link will, so the video will be sent to you through your email after this webinar. So after this webinar, magsisend po lahat ng link para sa replay ng webinar na to, tsaka sa, sa video para sa how to create a section. So expect po ninyo after this webinar, all the links will be sent. Okay. Let's move on. Now we will proceed to our first topic, which is what is Blockly? Okay. So since this is what we are going to do today, what is Blockly? Diniscuss ko na rin po ito sa previous webinar, pero sa mga hindi nakatend last time, so we will repeat. So, Blockly is a visual coding language that allows users to create codes by stacking blocks together. So, these blocks are used to create chunks of code that can later be translated into professional textual code. So, um, let us compare this to other language like JavaScript, C++, or language that is being used by Arduino. So, in that language, in JavaScript, kailangan po natin i-type yung buong words um, ng code. So, from zero. So, pwede, nat, pwede rin naman mag-copy-paste from the internet sources. Pero in Blockly, naka-pre-made na po yung code. Naka-pre-made na siya in a form of a block. So, all we need to do is to drag the block and drop that to connect to, to, the, to the previous block. So, kailangan lang po natin pag-connect-connect yung previous blocks and we are creating the code already. So, just like in the, exam, uh, in the example shown in the screen. So, ang example dito sa left side is repeat until. So, this is a repeat block na mayroong command na move forward, turn left, move forward, turn right. So, lahat po ng command na to na forward, left, forward, right, ay yun yung gagawin ng, ng ano, robot or ng microcontroller. Okay, next. So, Blockly is a client-side program that runs on the browser and can be accessed at, sorry, can be accessed anywhere. So, it can be accessed through, excuse me, um, Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Opera Mini, or etc. So, invention. Let's talk about invention of the Blockly. Blockly was developed by Google and was in development since summer of 2011. The final product was introduced in May 2012 at the Maker Fair in San Mateo, California. Why was it created and how does it work? So, Blockly was created to teach beginners programming. Its visual code blocks links together like puzzle or Lego pieces. So, it makes writing code easier. So, ito po, pwede natin, sabi nga dito, para sa mga beginners, no? So, para hindi na mahirapan mag-memorize ng code or ng words from zero, yung mga students, ginawa yung Blockly para mas madaling mag-program. No? So, yun nga, pwede ito sa high school, elementary, so, kahit yung hindi pa marunong magbasa, kasi meron tayong blocks na ginagamit na symbols, pwede yun sa elementary. So, yun yung advantage ng Blockly. You can teach Blockly to, to elementaries or lower ano, levels. Okay. So, when writing code, sabi nga dito, when writing code is easier, learning to code is also easier. So, as I mentioned, malilesen po yung, yung effort ng students Kasi kung word for word yung itatype nila, may effort sila para mag-memorize kung anong tamang word ang itatype kasi 
magkamali ka lang ng isang letter, magkamali ka lang ng isang symbol, hindi na po gagana yung, yung code or yung program. Wherein in Blackly, hindi na nila kailangan mag-memorize ng words. Drag and drop na lang. Pre-made na yung blocks. Ayan po. Let's move on. Why Blackly? Okay. So, Blackly is an exportable code. So, the Blackly codes can be translated into JavaScript, Python, PHP, Lua, and Dart. So, although Blackly ito, sabihin natin na, ano, um, madali lang, no? Pero, actually, kahit nagtuturo kayo ng JavaScript or Python language, pwede niyong ituro pa rin yung Blackly kasi ito convertible. So, sabi nga, convertible. Para ito sa mga beginners. So, kung sa tingin nyo ay first-timer sa coding yung mga students ninyo, pwede po ninyo itong ibigay muna bago kayong mag-move on sa JavaScript or Python language or other language na written type language. So, yun po yung maganda sa Blackly. Blackly is international. It is offered over 40 plus languages. Blackly is an open source. This means that anyone can pull up the code and manipulate, inspect, modify, or enhance it. Ayan. So, ano siya, di ba? Open source, no? Okay, so that ends our introduction about Blackly. Any question? So, before we move on, I will uh, entertain questions if you have one. So, may question tayo. Sir, is it okay na di makapag hands-on? Manunod lang muna ako. Walang available, sir, na laptop. Thanks. Okay. So, I will answer the question of Ma'am Rosabel Adriano. Okay lang po, Ma'am. Kung hindi po kayo makapag hands-on now. Uh, kasi, as I mentioned a while ago, masasend naman po yung masasend naman po yung, ano, yung replay link para sa video na to. So, by the time na ready na po kayong mag-hands-on while watching, pwede po ninyong i-replay, tapos mag-isaka po kayong mag-hands-on sa code.org. Ang importante po, ma makapag-create kayo ng account. Pero anyway, uh, pwede rin yun, yun rin naman po i-replay ito. Ha kahit hindi na muna kayo mag-create ng account ngayon, replay nyo lang, saka kayo mag-create ng account, tapos do the activity na lang po. Yan po. So, makukuha nyo naman po yung inyong certificate kapag nagawa po ninyo lahat ng activities. Okay, so any, any more questions? Ayan po. So, I think kung wala na pong question, let's move on. Now, we will move on to create an account in code.org. Actually, ito po, napadala na, na namin yung video sa mga nag-register sa aming um, registration form. So, after registering and after confirming your account, May sinin po kaming link para sa, mag-open po yung link para sa video on how to create an account in code.org for you to prepare. So, if may account na po kayo ng code.org, I think this is the time na mag-login na po kayo in your, in your second window, login na po kayo sa code.org in your account. Sa mga wala pang account, sa mga wala pa pong account sa code.org, Okay, nagkakaproblema lang po yung net dito. Okay, sa mga wala pa pong account ng code.org, so ito po, i-discuss ko ulit kung paano mag-create ng account. So, just follow my instruction, those who have no account yet. Okay, so the first thing we will do is to type code.org in your web browser. So, yun pong nasa taas. Ito po siya, code.org. So, type nyo lang po yan, yung code.org. Uh, may question po tayo, no? Sir, pwede po bang pa bang humabol doon sa una? Nagkaroon kasi ng problem, problem sa internet namin, magkakakuha pa ba ng certificate? Yes po, Sir Den Redimano. Ang question po niya, kung pwede bang humabol doon sa first webinar na ginawa natin? Pwede pa naman po. Ang link po ay nasend po sa email ninyo. So, pwede nyo pong i-open yung link na yon Tapos, follow the instructions lang din. And then... Complete lang din po yung classic maze. At the end of the classic maze, kagaya ng mangyayari din dito ngayon sa ating webinar, pag natapos nyo lahat ng levels ng classic maze, ng activity, magpapap up po yung certificate at maglalagay lang kayo ng full name tapos in a form of ano po siya, picture or JPEG file. So, pwede nyo i-download yun, save as picture lang. 
either PNG or JPEG, and then you can print later. Okay na po. So, ganito po, no? Let's continue for the login, uh, creating an account, those who have no account yet. Okay, where am I going? So, after typing code.org in your browser, ito po yung magpa-pop up. So, all you need to do is to select your language and then click submit. After that, ito na po yung magpa-pop up and then Ang una po natin gagawin ay click sign in doon sa upper right corner. Meron po doon sign in. Okay, so after that, lalabas po ito. So, as I mentioned, yung mga may account na po, maglagay na lang po kayo ng email ninyo, yung na-register ninyo na account na email before, and then your password. Then, all you need to do is to click sign in. Pero yung wala pang account, what we will do is to click create an account. May question? Um, si Ma'am Rosemary Abesha, dan po sir, kaso di ko na po ma-open yung una account ko po. Create another account po. Yes, pwede naman po ma'am create another account using your other email. Ang mangyayari po kasi, yung email na ginamit ninyo dun sa una, kung gagamitin nyo ulit ito ngayon sa create new account, magpapapa po siya na the email has already been used. So, kung baka po, ano, nakalimutan nyo po ba yung password ninyo ma'am? So, kung ganun po, hindi nyo na ma-open, either nakalimutan yung password ninyo or may problem, create an account pero kailangan po ninyong gumamit ng ibang email ad. So, ibang email ad po. Sa email nyo po, yun. Yes po, ma'am. Kung si ma'am, ano, sino ba yung nagtanong kanina? Si ma'am. Oh, Ang dami naman lumabas. Isabel. Okay na po. So, yan ma'am. Okay po. So, create account na lang kung nagka-problema yung first account. Or pwede nyo po i-check yung email ninyo kung ano yung ginamit ninyo na email ad during the creation of your first account. Baka po may, may ano doon, message doon sa email ninyo. Check nyo rin. Kung hindi na po talaga kaya, so create an account na lang. So, let's move on. So, after clicking the create an account, this will show. Okay. So, we have a choice to continue with Google, continue with Facebook, continue with Microsoft. So, ang magagawin po niya dito is ililink niya sa Google um, account ninyo, yung creation of account, Facebook, or Microsoft, etc. Pwede niyo pong gawin yon or click yon. Or kung otherwise, kung ayaw niyo ng ganun, pwede rin create an uh, sign up an account with your email, which is nasa lower part po. So, what we will do is, just write down your email, add and then your password, create your own password, new password, and then confirm your password. Ayan. Nasusunda naman po ba? So, si Ma'am Rosemary ay nakalimutan daw po niya yung password. Okay lang po yun. So, gawa na lang po kayo na bago, ma'am. Importante po, huwag po ninyong kakalimutan yung password ninyo, no? <laughs> okay. So, let's move on. So, kung nakagawa, nakalagay na kayo ng email ad, and then your own create password, click sign up. Sign up, and then this window will show. So, ito, importante din po ito. Uh, papipilin kayo kung anong account type ang gusto ninyo, either student or teacher. So, kahit magiging student kayo sa aking webinar ngayon, pwede pong teacher ang account na gawin ninyo. So, sinabi ko na rin po ito before. Importante po kung teacher kayo, make sure na teacher yung account na ilalagay ninyo kasi magkikreate in the future, magkikreate kayo ng section and activity para sa inyong students. So, yan. Importante yan. Kasi pag student account ang nilagay ninyo, hindi kayo makakapag-create ng section. Okay. So, again, I will repeat. Uh, kailangan po kung teacher kayo, teacher account yung pipiliin ninyo para makapag-create kayo ng section in the future para makapagbigay ng kayo ng activity sa inyong students. So, I will repeat again because the the instruction, the step-by-step -step instruction on how to create a section will be sent to you through your email. So, the link to, to the video will be sent through your email. So, yun, nandun po yung instruction kung paano mag-create ng section if you already have an account in code.org. So, I will select teacher. After that, write your display name. So, pwede pong full name ang ilagay ninyo, no? I suggest siguro full name ang ilagay ninyo para 
kung sakali man ano makikita ko rin kung sino yung mga nagagatin talaga no sa mga nag-register sa ating uh, form. And then after that you will enter your school or organization information so you will ask to write your con- country tapos type of your school or organization marami pong choices diyan either private public um, i-select niyo lang po yun tapos your school name so my school name is Martin Academy based on the Pacific so private po siya so located in the Philippines So after that, you all, next step is go to my account. So click lang po natin yung go to my account. Okay, so nakakasunod naman. Oh, may nakalabel na yun na agad si Ayan Santos. <laughs> Ang bilis naman ni, ni ano, Sir Ayan. Sir ba to? Uh, Ayan? Ayan Santos. Okay, anyway, tuloy po tayo. So, yung mga may account na po, no, may se- nakalagay po sa screen natin yung section code. So, type nyo lang po yung section code. Ito na, pupunta na tayo dito. After creating an account, so ito na yung lalabas, may dashboard. At yung may mga account na maglalagin kayo, ito rin yung lalabas. Idadalhin niya kayo sa dashboard. Okay. So, ganito lang gagawin natin ngayon. So, galing sa dashboard, punta ka lang kayo sa pinakailalim. Please tell me po kung mayroon pang nahuli or nahirapan. Message lang kayo dyan. Kung nakakasunod naman, okay tayo. Sabi mo kung may nahira. Sir, yan makikita kong teacher or student. Kasi hindi po ako sure kung teacher ang nalagay ko nung una. Sir, ya, may tanong si Ma'am Jeneline Soriano. Sir, yan makikita kong teacher or student. Ang tanong niyo po ba ay kung paano makikita kung teacher or student? Tama ba ako, ma'am? Um, I think malalaman niyo po kung teacher or student kayo dito po sa ating, ito, yung may, ito po ma'am, no, para sa sagot ko kay ma'am, sino nagtanong? Jeneline Soriano. Um, dito po kasi sa inyong dashboard, may nakalagay na classroom section. Ito po, kung teacher kayo, teacher account kayo, Makikita nyo po ito, yung create a section. Yan. Kung student po, wala pong create a section dyan. So, make sure na makikita nyo yan, create a section. Otherwise, um, di ko pa po kasi na-try, pero pwede nyo po, kung tingnan yung account setting, kung pwede natin mabago yung account type. Kung hindi naman, pwede po kayo mag-create ng bagong account ulit na teacher ang gamit. Pero for now, kung sakaling wala po ito, Kung wala pong create section, student lang, hayaan nyo po muna, okay lang po yan. Tapusin lang po muna natin yung activity natin ngayon, and then you can create a new account, a teacher account na in the, uh, in the ano na lang after this webinar. Pwede naman po yun. Okay na po ba, ma'am? Jendeline Soriano. Yan. So, next. So, ito po, ulitin ko. So, pag, pag may nakita kayo dito yung create a section, ibig sabihin yan, naka... Teacher account kayo. So, punta tayo sa pinaka-ibaba ng ating dashboard. So, makikita po natin dito na may join a section. Okay? Meron po dyan join a section. So, ang gagawin natin is, itatype lang natin yung section code na nakikita natin sa screen. Which is the YNJBX. YNJBXJ. So, kanyara, magtatype ako. YNJBXJ. Type mo sa message itong code. So, so section code, Y and Z, B, X, J. Tapos, click lang natin yung join section. So, since naka-join na ako, you have already joined section webinar. Ito po yung kalalabasan. You have already joined section and webinar lesson 2, batch 1. So, ang dapat po na makikita natin na section name is webinar lesson 2, batch 1. Okay na po, nasusundan naman. Y in JBXJ, capitalized, capital letters, yung section code. Ayan. Tapos, pag nakita na na po natin itong screen na to, or window na may nakalagay na webinar lesson 2 batch 1, click natin code with Anan Elsa. Ikiklik lang natin yung course title. Okay, so I can see na may nakapasok na po doon at may nag-forward na, ang layo na nila. So, click na po natin and punta na tayo sa code with Anna and Elsa and we will start the activity.
Please message lang po kung may nahirapan pa rin. Okay, so here we go. Ito na po yung lalabas na view after clicking the title code with Anan Elsa. So all we need to do is, again, just like what we did before, i-click natin yung number 1 para mag-start po tayo sa level 1. Okay, click natin yung number 1, level, let's start with level 1. Ito, start na po tayo ng, ano ha, ng activity. Okay, so I think, uh, sige, i-play natin yung introduction video muna, no? So, what grade are you in? Second. Tenth grade? First grade. I was in eighth grade when I learned to program. I got my first computer when I was in sixth grade. What gets me excited is being able to fix people's problems. You can express yourself. You can build things from an idea. Computer science is the basis for a lot of the things that college students and professionals will do for the next 20 or 30 years. I like programming because I like helping people. I get the opportunity to build something that's going to make people's life easier. I think it's the closest thing we have to a superpower. Getting started is the most important part. I'm a beginner myself, and I want you to learn with me. Hi, my name is Lindsay. I majored in theater in college, but I also majored in computer science. And now I model, act, and write my own apps. Let's use code to join Anna and Elsa as they explore the magic and beauty of ice. You will create snowflakes and patterns as you ice skate and make a winter wonderland that you can then share with your friends. In the next hour, you're going to learn the basics of how to code. Traditional programming is usually in text, but we'll use Blockly, which uses visual blocks that you can drag and drop to write programs. This is how even university students learn the basics. Under the hood, you're still creating code. The concepts that you'll be learning are what computer programmers use every day and are the foundation to computer science. A program is a set of instructions that tells a computer what to do. Let's build a code for a program that will help Elsa create a simple line. We will use this later to create more complex patterns. Your screen is split into three main parts. On the left is the ice surface where you'll run your program. The instructions for each level are written right below the surface. This middle area is the toolbox, and each of these blocks is an action that Elsa and Anna can do. The white space on the right is called the workspace, and this is where we'll build our program. To move around the ice surface, you'll use the Move Forward block. Here, the Move Forward block says, move forward by 100 pixels. When we press Run, what happens? Elsa moves forward a certain amount on the screen. 100 pixels, in fact. Pixels are basically very tiny squares on your computer screen. The other block we have in this puzzle says turn right by 90 degrees. And when we use this turn right block, that makes Elsa turn a certain amount. You can play around with how far you want Elsa to turn. The angle is measured from the path ahead of Elsa. So this is a 90 degree turn and this is a 120 degree turn. And remember, you can change the number of pixels or degrees by clicking the arrows next to them. Pwede na niyang kunin kamay sa certificate. Kasi Maria Cristina, hindi ko malam sa pinagawa. Okay, ayan. So, we will start na po. So, again, as usual, may, nasa upper part po dito yung instruction or yung hint kung paano natin gagawin yung program. So, ang pinakaiba po ng coding, Code with Anna and Elsa compared to our previous webinar, which is the Classic Maze, this time po is instead of number of steps, ang forward movement natin is by number of pixels na. So, parang ito na yung patumbas ng distance, no? Okay. So, 
Dito naman, uh, sa para sa turn right, turn left naman, instead of turn right, turn left lang, kasi doon sa classic maze, automatic 90 degrees yung turn right, turn left. But this time, in Code with Anna and Elsa, ay mayroon na tayong angle na ibibigay. So, pwede kang mag-turn right lang ng 45 degrees, or 30 degrees, hanggang 1 degrees lang na turn right. So, yun. So, basically, ito po ay pwede natin itong ibigay sa mga nagpo-program or nagko-code ng ng uh, motion or movable tawag dito yung mga ro robotics po na wheeled robot so halos kapareho lang po ito ng programming ng mga wheeled robot ang pinakaiba lang instead of distance na meters or centimeters this time pixels po ah okay si Ma Maria Cristina po may na Maria Cristina ano pong ilalagay sa section Akala ko tapos na siya. Ma'am, tapos na po ba kayo, Ma'am Maria Cristina? So, ang ilalagi po ninyo sa section ay yung nakalagi po sa section code. Okay, Ma'am, ulitin po natin yung ano, no? Hindi, Maria Cristina, ano pong ilalagay sa section? Sige, reply mo. So, ang section code po natin ay YNZVXJ. Okay po, Ma'am. Maria Cristina, okay na po ba? Okay, so magre-reply po kay Ma'am Maria Cristina and let's move on. So, sige po, uh, dito i-solve na natin agad yung number 1 since madali lang naman po siya. So, move forward lang. So, sabi dito, so, ang, ang default distance po natin is 100 pixels. Yun po yung katumbas ng i-move ngayon ni Elsa dito sa level 1. So, again, just like before, just drag the block and Connect that to the win run. Win run block. Win run block is our starting block. So, lahat ng blocks na i-connect natin sa win run, lahat yun ay yun yung mag-a-activate. Pag hindi po siya connected, magko-color light siya, ibig sabihin hindi siya gagana. Kailangan nakakonect siya doon. Okay, tingnan po natin si Ma'am Maria Cristina. Are you done na po ba Ma'am Maria Cristina? Or are you still entering the section? Please reply po. So, now we will press run button. Opo. Huwag <laughs> daw po magmadali. <laughs> okay po, ma'am. Noted. Congratulations. Ayan po. So, we're done. Now, let's move on to the level 2. Tingnan natin kung mahirap na to. Ngayon, nagkaroon na tayo ng angle. No? So, let's see if we can create two lines that are at 90 degree angle to each other. You will need to use the turn block as well as the move block. Ayan. So, yung iba po kasi malayo na, kung, pero kung may iba yata nahirapan na sa future stages sa mga, sa mga, ano, sa mga stages na nandun na sila. So, kung nahirapan po kayo, pwede nyo po kami hintayin, no? Pwede po nating hintayin ito ang ating, ano, para sa solution. So, ipapakita naman po natin yung solution. Or gusto nyo, pwede nyo yung skip Pero kung mas maganda, ay suggest kung ano, susundan natin tong webinar natin. Okay, so, maglalagay tayo ng timer. I will give you, pwede na siguro in 30 seconds. One minute. Okay, sige, one minute. Dahil I will consider the, I will consider naman the, ano, the speed of our internet connection. Tapos, yung, yun nga, nagkakaproblem na yung iba sa, ano, ng internet. Sige, one minute bago natin i-reveal yung, ano, solution. Madali lang naman ito, no? Kahit 30 seconds siguro, magagawa nyo na ito. Yung iba nga, nasa level 6 na daw. <laughs> si Ma'am Michelle Lumeda, di ako makalis sa level 6. Okay lang po, ma'am. Antayin nyo po kami. <laughs> Malapit na tayo dyan. Ayan. 15 seconds. Please comment po kung okay lang yung ating time limit na 1 minute. Baka masyadong mahaba. Masyadong mahaba or masyadong maikli. Dadagregan ba natin or what? Okay, ayan. So, 1 minute is done. Then we will show the solution. So, of course, kagaya lang din ng kanina na move forward. And then, your next command will be turn right. 
So kagaya lang din po ito ng previous activity natin na classic maze na kung saan siya nakaharap, yun yung pupuntahan niya. So ang gagawin natin, paharapin natin siya ng 90 degrees pababa. After niyang humarap 90 degrees pababa, saka mo naman lagyan ulit ng move forward, 100 pixels. And then, click run. So mayroon po pala tayong icon dito no, na turtle tsaka bunny. So ito po yung magsasabi kung anong speed ang gusto natin. Ang speed na gagalawin ni Elsa. Okay, so kung yayari, lalagay ko sa bunny. Kasi mabilis po yung movement niya. Kung nagmamadali tayo, no, pwede nyo gawin yun. Next, let us proceed to level 3. Okay. May questions pa ba dyan? Wait lang po natin. Medyo nagbagal po yung signal namin. Ayan na. Okay, so it seems like we're halfway to making a square. Let's put four lines together to create a square. So yung kanina na angle line lang, ngayon pagdudugtungin natin yung dalawang angle line at gagawa tayo ng square. So again, I will give you one minute before we move on. Ah, pwede na. Madali lang naman. So, may comment po dito. 30 seconds daw. Pwede na. Okay, palitan natin yung ating time limit. 30 seconds. Baka nga naman masyado tayong magtagal. 30 seconds. Pwede natin gawin mga minute pagka medyo mahirap na na stage, no? Mahirap na na level. Yes, may comment po tayo from Jiron, Jero, McQueen, Balaan, Bison. Very interesting po, sir. So much excited pati yung mga pamangkin ko. nag enjoy din sila kay Ana. Yes, <laughs> I agree po. nag enjoy talaga ang mga bata po dito lalo. So nag enjoy po talaga mga bata dito lalo na yung mga favorite si, ano, yung Frozen characters. Actually, marami pa po tayong pwedeng gamitin sa code.org. So kung may tinapo natin doon pag nakakrikit kayo ng account, pag alam nyo na kung paano mag-create ng section, pipili kayo ng activity, makakapili po tayo doon ng iba't ibang characters. So, nag update din po yung code.org. Minsan nag update sila ng mga bagong characters na gagamitin. So, aabangan din natin yun. Okay? So, next, ito yung uh, move forward saka yung angle turn right. So, na, magdagdag lang tayo ng another move forward and another angle turn right, 90 degrees. Another move forward. So, ulit-ulitin lang natin ito hanggang makabuo siya ng square. Yan. So, tingnan natin kung ilang move forward na. So, bilangin natin kung ilang move forward ang kailangan. 1, 2, 3, 4 sides. Kailangan meron tayong apat na move forward na makikita. 1, 2, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4 move forward. So, after the last move forward, pwede na hindi na tayo maglagay ng turn right kasi tapos na tayo eh. So, Let's just click the run button and let's see what will happen. Okay, so for my questions, po, please write your comment, uh, your question in the chat room. So now let's proceed to level 4. This time, mayroon na tayong repeat block. So ang, si Ana na ngayon ang character. Anand, hi, I'm Anna of Arundel. Let's make a square with the repeat block, which uses fewer blocks. How many times should the repeat block loop the block inside it to make a square? So, this time, di natin kailangan magdagdag ng blocks. Ang kailangan lang natin is i-analyze natin kung ilang repeat, ilang beses siyang kailangan mag-repeat para mabuo yung square. Remember to use math concepts. Yes, that's true. Si the steam power teacher just commented, remember to use math concepts po. Yes, I agree. Mayroon po, nakalimutan ko bang hindi kanina, dito sa activity na to, ay mayroon po siyang included na mathematics. So, may mga calculations po tayo dito regarding the sides. Mamaya magkakaroon na tayo ng circle, tapos parallelogram. So, may mathematical application po ito. No? So, dito basic pa lang tayo. Mamaya, ma ma-realize nyo, no? May mathematics. So, we're not only teaching coding to our students. We're also teaching 
mathematical equation, ma mathematical concepts. So, yun po ang maganda dito sa sa Anna, according with Anna and Elsa. Okay, I will give you another 30 seconds. Oh, may 30 seconds. Saan? Sa pinalaro mo. Hindi na tuloy mo lang. Ano, 30 seconds. So, habang naghihintay, magtatintay ang mga question. So, as you can see, maganda po itong activity natin, no? So, double purpose na siya. Coding na. Mathematics pa. Okay. So, now we're done. So, tingnan po natin. So, since we are uh, creating a square, so, four sides nga yun, di ba? So, ang gagawin natin is, ilan ba ang move forward na binigay niya? So, sabi natin kanina, apat na move forward yan dapat. So, that means, we need to make move forward times four. So, ang gagawin natin is, of course, 4 times ang ilalagay natin. No? So, ganun lang kadali yun. So, repeat 4 times para mag-create siya ng square, ah, uh, mag-create siya ng 4 sides. So, yan po yung ating square. Okay, so we're done. So, let's proceed to the next one. Level 5. So, please, if uh, somebody there is watching who cannot understand Tagalog, please comment in the chat room na lang po because I'm speaking in Tagalog. But if uh, someone cannot understand Tagalog and you want me to speak English, you can comment in the chat room. Pero kung if there is none naman, then we can continue with the Tagalog. Let's create three squares. Now, in level 5, let's create three squares. Turning after each square. Be sure to turn 120 degrees before each new squares. Okay. So, this time, wala rin tayong dadagdag na blocks. Lalagin lang natin siya ng kung ilang beses siyang i-repeat. -re para makapag-rate daw tayo ng 3 squares with 120 degrees angle uh, in each square. So, mayroon tayong distance of 120 degrees angle. Okay. So, bakit po 120 degrees? Pwede nyo itanong sa students ninyo yan. Bakit kaya 120 degrees? No? Ilan ba ang degrees ng isang buong circle? Okay. So, sige, bibigyan ko muna kayo ng 30 seconds ulit para isolve. Actually, masusolve na naman natin ito agad, no? Kasi binigay na niya yung hint. So, meron tayo ditong, sa loob ng repeat question mark, meron siyang repeat 4 times na nilagay. This repeat 4 times is already the code that we used a while ago. This is the code that is used to create a square. So, after repeating 4 times, ang gagawin lang ni... Okay, it's time. So, uh, after repeating 4 times, ang gagawin lang dito ni Ana, kung saan siya unang nakaharap kanina bago nag-start, doon din siya babalik ng pagharap. And then, 120 degrees daw. So, para makapag-create tayo ng 3 squares, of course, kailangan 3 times. And then, sabi niya, kailangan daw 120 degrees ang turn natin. So, papalitan lang natin yung degrees dito sa turn right, gagawin natin 120 degrees. Again, ang tinanong ko po kanina kung bakit po 120 degrees. Okay, so parang ganito po kasi yan. So, yung isang buong circle po kasi is 360 degrees ang total, no? So, yung buong circle. So, since 3, kailangan natin mag-create ng 3 squares with equal distances from the circle. So, ang gagawin natin is 360 degrees lang divided by 3. Kaya lang, balikan muna natin. So, kung 360 degrees yung isang buong circle, para daw magkaroon ka ng equal distance kasi 360 degrees whole circle, Ilang degrees ba ito, yung theta? So, this theta will be equal to 360 divided by 3. So, ang sagot is 120 degrees. Okay? So, pwede po natin gawin yan. Tanong natin student, bakit kaya 120 degrees yung ilalagay natin sa rotation before, for the distance for each circle, before the second circle? That is because that will make the equal an equal angle to all the circle uh, to all the squares okay because from this formula 
So 360 degrees, one, root, one whole rotation of the circle, divided by 3 equals 120 degrees. Okay na po. So if you have questions again, please just write a uh, type in the chat room. And then we will now play. Tingnan natin kung tama ang ginawa natin. Ayan. So after creating the first circle, magbigay ka muna ng command kay Ana na mag-turn siya ng 120 degrees and then he, she will create another sir, another square square pala. So after creating the first square, Ana will rotate 120 degrees to create the second square and then another 120 degrees right to create the third square. And that will be repeated three times. Okay na? May na lost connection daw pa. Okay. Hindi baka delete pa tayo. Delete tayo ng konti. So now we'll move on to the next level. Level 6 na po. Okay na yung mga nahirapan sa level 6. Andito na tayo. Okay. So, tata tayo sa level 6. Can you create a snowflake using the repeat block to make a square 10 times and to turn and the turn block to turn 36 degrees between each square. Okay? So, gagamit na naman tayo ng mathematics. So, again, meron tayong 4 times to create a square. ba? Move forward 100. So, this repeat 4 times is actually a mo, uh, create a square block na yan. Okay? Itong turn right na to, ito yung magbibigay ng, kagaya kanina, ito yung magbibigay ng distance sa bawat isang square. At sabi niya dito, ang requirement daw is 10 times or 10 squares ang gagawin natin. Tapos, 36 degrees. And then, the reason why this 36 degrees is, eh, the reason why uh, 36 degrees is the degrees that we will use, is the same reason from previous level. ba From previous level, ginawa natin 360 divided by 3 squares naging 120. Eh, dito 10 squares daw eh. So, 10 times. Eh, di gagawin natin. 360 divided by 10. So, gagawin natin. 360 divided by 10. Kaya naging 36. So, parang ganito po yan. So, I will give you 30 seconds ulit. Bago tayo mag ano. Pero, i-discuss ko muna kung paano siya naging 36. So, para magkaroon ulit tayo ng equal... Sorry. Para magkaroon ulit tayo ng equal distance sa bawat isang square, again, we have 360 degrees uh, yung buong circle, buong rotation. So, 10 squares daw eh. 10 squares. Ay, time na. So, that would be 360 divided by 10. Divided, sorry. Divided by 10. Para makapag-create tayo ng equal distance sa 10 squares. That will be 36 degrees. So, ang solution natin ngayon, click tayo sa kanina. So, kailangan daw niyang mag-repeat 10 times, ba? So, ang gagawin natin, Ipasok natin itong repeat 4 blocks sa loob ng isa pang repeat block. Kapareho lang po ito ng solution ng level 5. So, 10 times. Lagyan natin 10 times. Okay. So, para magkaroon ng equal distances for each square na 10 squares lahat yan sa isang buong rotation, according to our computation a while ago, sa computation natin, 360 divided by 10, ang equal distance niya ngayon is 36. Although hindi naman natin kailang mag-compute no kasi nakalagay na dyan 36 degrees given na po siya. Pero pwede po ninyong ibigay yon sa student as a question kung bakit 36 degrees ulit. At pwede natin i-discuss unti-unti na ganito ang solution, ang calculation. 
Kasi sa mga susunod po na level, wala na siyang hint, wala nang ibibigay na degrees or angle. Yung student na ang maglalagay kung, kung anong exact angle na kailangan nilang ilagay para sa number of uh, shapes na ilalagay nila. Sabihin mo sa akin kung may questions ka. Okay. So, meron pong nakapuzzle 18 na. So, yung mga nahirapan dito, na, tapos na ba kayo sa level 6? So, we will run now. So, ganun lang po. Pagdagdag lang tayo ng repeat block 10 times para magkapag-create siya. Kasi itong repeat 4 times, isang square lang to. Tapos naglagay tayo ng turn right angle para sa distance ng angle sa bawat square. Tapos, pa, para makapag-create tayo ng another square, nasa loob siya ng repeat 10 times. So, 10 times na gagawin itong blocks na to. Then, we'll press, we will press run. Yan. So, gagawa siya ngayon ng snowflakes gamit ang mga squares. Maraming squares na ginawa natin, ginamit natin kanina. Ano? Okay, we're done. So, we'll proceed to level 7. So, okay na po ba? Kung may questions ulit, type lang kayo sa chat room. May questions ba? Nood lang po ako, host. Okay, si Ma'am Rosalie M. Blue, nood lang daw siya. So, pwede po kayong mag-activity, Ma'am, pagka nag-replay na tayo. No? Okay, wrap a repeat block around these commands to create a plus sign. Did you notice Elsa can move forward and backward? Ayan. So, ikiklik lang po natin yung forward. Pwede pong mag-backward si Elsa. So, ito po yung gagamitin natin ngayon para mag-create siya ng... Excuse me. Para mag-create po siya ng plus sign. So, I will give you another 10 seconds pa bago natin i-solve. Si Ma'am Maria Cristina Olivar, dami na pala ako na miss. Ma'am, mahabol na lang po kayo. Okay. Kung nahirapan pa po kayo, uh, pwede naman pong mag-replay uh, na lang po, ma'am. Pwede po kayong mag-move on sa current level natin ngayon and after this webinar, pwede nyo pong balikan yung level 1 kung ano man po yung na-miss ninyo. Okay, it's time. So, para po sa mga na-late, no? Kagaya ni Ma'am Maria Cristina Olivar, pwede po kayong mag sa level 7 para po masundan na nyo itong webinar na to. Tapos, balikan na lang nyo yung level 1 to 6 mamaya after this webinar kung may time po. And then you can get your certificate. Okay, so let's solve this one. So wrap a repeat block around this command. So actually, ito na mismo yun, i -re repeat na lang down natin. Yan. So lagi, isingit lang natin yung repeat block dun sa when run, tapos itong tatlo. So ganun po, idadrag lang natin yung pinakaibabaw para madrag yung tatlo. Ipasok natin siya sa loob ng repeat block. So ito, naka-ready made na to. So move forward daw sa 100 pixels, move backward 100 pixels para bumalik na siya sa position niya. And next command will be turn right. After turning right, i-repeat lang niya ulit yung ginawa niya kanina. So, move forward, backward, turn right again. Move forward, backward, turn right again. Ang question is how many times? So, basically, four times po na niyang gagawin para makapag-create siya ng plus sign. So, just click the run button. Ganun lang po. Madali lang naman po sa, diba? So, kaya-kaya po ito ng mga students sa beginner. Ah, yung view. Ma'am, try nyo pong ipalakihan. May question po kasi si Ma'am Annabel Gurley Agbayani. Sir, pacheck po malabo po yung view nyo. Di ko po makita. Nasa setting po yan, Ma'am, ng YouTube. Ay, sabihin mo ano. Setting sa YouTube yung pixels. Ano ba yan? Teka, teka. Nawawala kasi magsasabay tayo pala. Ano nangyari? Ay, naku. Ano pala? Ay, hindi ko alam. 
Wait lang po ma'am, nagkaroon ng konting problem. Okay. Ito na nga lang. Let's continue. Ayan. So, ano nga ba yun? Asan na tinatype mo? Pacheck po malabo. Ma'am, para po sa malabo na view, nasa setting po yun ng YouTube. So, click nyo lang po yung setting, tsaka yung, ano bang tawag doon? Meron po yun sa setting yung, hindi na play. Yung, teka, teka. Yan. So, nasa setting po yun naman ng YouTube, actually. Okay na po ba? Si Ma'am Annabelle Gurley. Si Ma'am Baby Ruth, hello po na late na ako, kakagising ko lang, sir. Ma'am Baby Ruth, join po kayo sa section. Pwede, uh, pwede niya naman pong balikan itong ano. Pwede na ko nang balas sa Oh. Yung create a section po, pwede nyo panoorin sa uh, YouTube, sa link po na pinadala sa sa email. Kung may account na kayo, join the, uh, kung may account na kayo, just log in, then join a section. Habol na lang po, ma'am. Kung hindi man po kayang humabol, um, pwede pong i-replay na lang. Okay, let's proceed now to the level 8. So, chat lang po kung may question pa. Si ma'am... Ano ba yung kanina? Nagtatanong po ng malabo. Okay na po ba? Sa YouTube setting lang po yun ha. Okay, let's proceed to the level 8. Now repeat, uh, try repeating it 10 times. How many degrees do you need to turn between each line? Kagaya lang din po ito nung kanina. So, i-analyze ulit natin kung ilang degrees para mag-equal distance yung 10 times na line. So, kanina kasi square ang ginawa natin, but this time, line na lang siya. Okay, so ang gagawin lang natin, So, I will give you another 30 seconds again before we solve. So, tingnan mo natin mga comments. May tanong ba si Ma'am Angelin? Sir, nawala po yung ibang block sa level 11. Okay naman ito. Masagot naman ito. Ah, okay. Mas masagot naman po. So, may answer... Yung setting din natin dito, ayusin. Ayun yung 144 lang. Ay, 360 lang, pwede na yun. So, quality, 360 lang. Ayun, ma'am. So, ulitin ko po, ma'am. Ay, time na pala. Sorry, sorry. Hindi ko na panitin. So, ulitin ko lang po yung um, questions ni ma'am Evangeline kanina, no? May, i-click nyo lang po yung screen ng YouTube. Meron po dun sa upper right corner, yung dot, tatlong dot, setting po yun. Tapos, i-click nyo yung quality, quality ng video. Kasi, pag mabagal po ang signal, nasa 140 pixels lang siya. Ililipat lang po natin yun sa either 360 or 420, pwede na po yun. Para hindi magbagal yung signal ninyo. So, babaguhin lang po natin yung pixel setting or yung quality ng video. Para luminaw. Okay po. So now let's move on. Pwede rin naman natin i-zoom in kung medyo nahirapan. Okay. So 
So, lagay lang natin po yung repeat block. And then, so, as, may, as I mentioned, pareho lang po na ito nung kanina. Kung 10 times natin i-repeat -re yung line, ang gagawin natin is 360 degrees the whole rotation of the circle divided by 10 lang po. So, yun ang gagawin natin. So, 360 360 degrees divided by divided by 10. Kasi 10 times daw natin gagawin, di ba? Equals 36 degrees. So, ito po yung sagot. Kung ilang degrees daw ba ang ilalagay natin? Dito sa turn right. So, turn right tayo ng 36 degrees before each line. And then, repeat 10 times. So, we will press play. Press play. Let's move on to the next level. So, level 9 na po tayo. Malapit na. Okay. So, let's repeat it 90 times. How many times does 90 go into 360 degrees? Hint. It's a really small number. Okay. So, this time, may nadagdag po na blocks. Take note, may nadagdag tayo na blocks na set color. Pwede natin gamitin yan. Actually, nakalagay na po siya random color. So, each time na i-repeat niya yung line, magra-random color po siya. Okay. So, ang question dito is 90 times daw natin siyang ulitin. Ilang degrees ang kailangan para 90 times siya equally distance ulitin sa isang buong circle. So, kagaya lang din ang ginawa natin kanina. But before we reveal, 30 seconds again will be given. Para po hintayin natin yung iba. Yes, pink loops is our repeat loop. So, use pink loops inside. So, basically, repeat loop muna ang unahin natin. No? Okay, it's time. So, let's uh, solve. So, we have repeat 90 times. Pasok natin sa loob. Ganun lang po. And then, ang problem na lang natin ngayon is kung ilang degrees ang kailangan para equally distance lahat sa loob ng isang circle. Okay. So, kagaya lang din ang ginawa natin kanina. Ang gagawin natin is 360 divided by kung ilang beses siyang gagawin. Lagi lang pong ganun, no? Kung gusto natin ng equal distance siya sa isang circle. So, 360 degrees divided by 9. Ilang beses yun? 90. Divided by 90 times equals, ano pong sagot? Kakalculator tayo. 360 divided by 90. The answer is 4 degrees. Yan. So, ito po yung mathematics dito. <laughs> so, ang gagawin natin is 4 degrees ang iililagay natin. 4 degrees. Para equal distance siya hanggang mabuo niya yung buong 360 degrees na circle na 90 times gagawin yung uh, line. Okay na? So, we will play. So, bilisan natin ang pangkong kasi marami ito. So, take note po yung mga gray blocks required po yan. Hindi po natin pwedeng burahin. So, naka-preset sa dyan. So, kailangan lang natin mag-dabing yung block. So, kailangan mo yung block. Tapos, ang lang yung number yung kailangan po natin. Yan. Okay, so we're done. With, let's move on to the level 10. Okay, so this time use repeat around, use a repeat around these blocks to create a parallelogram. So it's just a rectangle but has different angles. This one has 60 degree and 120 degree angles instead of all 90 degree angle. So this time parallelogram nang gagawin natin. Pero equal distance pa rin naman but what happened was instead of 90 degrees all angles 
magiging 60, 120 degrees na siya. So, analyze po natin anong command yung ibibigay natin para makapag-create siya ng parallelogram. So, take note. Take note po natin na yung isang angle daw is 120 degree. Ay, tama. 60 degree yung isang angle na maliit. Yung malaki, mas malaking angle is 120 degrees. Degrees. Ayan. Okay. So, mag-drawing tayo dito sa ating ano, board, no? So, yung, para, yung parallelogram na yan, parang ganito siya. So, basically, dito manggagaling si Ana, papunta siya doon. Tapos, ito daw ay, ano to? 120 degrees ito, mal mas malaking angle. Okay, sorry. 120 degrees ito, ito naman, 60 degrees. So, yan po yung setup ng ating paralelogram. Tapos, ito, 120 degrees ulit ito. Tapos, 60 degrees ulit ito. Okay. Pero, analyze ninyo kung saan nakaharap si Elsa. Ay, sorry, si Ana pala ito, si Ana. So, I will give you another 30 seconds before we reveal the solution. Medyo tabingi lang po yung aking drawing, pero okay lang yan. <laughs> may abas na may angle naman. Okay. Ma'am Maria Cristina Olivar, hirap lang makakonek. Yes, it's true po, ma mahirap lang talaga makakonek ngayon. Napansin ko po yung nagbagal talaga yung signal nung nag-start po yung ating quarantine. Doon po siya nagsimulang magbagal. Okay, now it's already time. So, we will solve. Nakapag-solve na po ba sa level 10? Okay. So, of course, may forward 100 pixel pa rin tayo. Pero ang iisipin natin dito ngayon is kung ano ba ang turn right ni Ana after niya makapag-move forward. So, imagine po ninyo after niya mag-move forward dito ng 100 pixels, ano ba ang angle na kailangan natin ibigay sa kanya? Please take note po na si Ana ay nakaharap po dito sa bandang right side. So, ang kailangan po na angle na gagamitin natin is ito. Itong theta na to. Yung first angle na ibibigay natin is yung theta po na yan. Hindi po yung 120 degrees. So, yung Isang straight line is 180 degrees. So, para masolve po itong theta na to, this is actually 180 degrees minus 120. So, ilan po yan? 180 degrees minus 120. So, ang gagamitin natin yung ating angle para dito sa first angle na yan, this should be 60 degrees. Tama? 180 degrees minus 120 is 60 degrees. So, that will be our first solution. 60 degrees muna. Tama po ba? Please tell me if you don't agree. <laughs> Any violent reaction? Yan. So, first command, 60 degrees. Okay. So, haharap si Elsa ng 60 degrees. Nandito na siya ngayon nakaharap. Ay, sorry. Ana pala to. Elsa ko ng Elsa. So, after the right, turn right 60 degrees, move forward na naman siya ulit ng 100, ay, 100 pixels. So, nandito na siya ngayon. Ngayon, analyze ulit natin dito ilang angle ang kailangan niya para makaharap siya doon sa next side. Okay. So, this time, gawin natin phi. So, phi is actually equals to, since ang angle ng ating uh, shape is 60 degrees yung nasa loob, ang turn na gagamitin mo kay Elsa, which is this one, ang turn na gagamitin mo is 180 minus 60. Kabalik taran lang nung kanina. 180 minus 60. Degrees, which is equals to 120 degrees. So, baka malito kayo. Ganito po ang solution dyan, no? So, ang second command natin ngayon ay 120 degrees turn right. So, after turning right, nakaharap na si Elsa ngayon dito. Kung napapansin ninyo, nasa opposite side na siya ng shape ng parallelogram. So, ang gagawin lang natin is uulitin lang niya ulit yung ginawa niya kanina. So, lalagay lang natin siya itong buong command na to sa loob ng repeat loop, which is repeat two times lang ang kailangan. Nakuha po ba? So, kung nahirapan, again, 
uh, write your comment in the chat room. So, okay na po yan. So, I will repeat, no? Move forward 100 pixels. Tapos, turn right by 60 degrees according to our calculation. Kasi, ang shape natin na kailangan niyang gawin is 120 degrees yung loob. So, 120, 180 ang straight line. 180 minus 120, 60 degrees ang kailangan sa first turn. Move forward 100 pixels again. After that, 120 degrees naman para magawa niya yung 60 degrees ang nasa loob ng shape. And then repeat two times. So, we'll run. Sige na po. So, para sa mga nirapan, pwede na natin ito ang solution. So, that's it. Yes. Challenging. Ayan. Yes po, may po comment po tayo kay Ma Manilin, Manilin Reglos, pahirap na ng pahirap. Yes, that's true po, <laughs> pahirap na ng pahirap ito habang uh, lumalalim ang ating level. So, nasa level 11 na tayo, ayan. Did you know every snowflake is a different shape? Let's create a snowflake by using another repeat plot to repeat a parallelogram four times, turning right by 90 degrees between each parallelogram. Okay. So again, same lang din to kanina, no? Since 4 times natin gagawin, so parang 360 degrees divided by 4 lang din ulit yan, which will make 90 degrees each. So yung gray blocks will be required. We do not need to remove since ano na yan. Ang gagawin nito is, nasa repeat 2 blocks na rin siya. So basically, ito na mismo yung, itong command na to, ito na mismo yung magbibigay ng parallelogram na shape. Ito na yung sinulog natin kanina, no? 100 forward, 60 degrees, turn right. 100 forward, 120 degrees, turn right. And binigay na naman niya yung, ano, kailangan daw 90 degrees between each parallelogram. So, ilagay na natin siya sa 90 degrees. Ang kulang na lang dito, ano yung kailangan natin idagdag para makapag-create siya ng 4 parallelograms, which is the same solution we did in our previous levels, in our lower levels a while ago. So, I will give you another 30 seconds before we reveal. So, try nyo pong isolve ng, ng kayo lang bago natin na-reveal. Si Ma'am Christina, nahirapan po ba kayong makasunod, Ma'am? Please tell me lang po. Ah, nawawala ang net. So, mahina lang pala ang net ni Ma'am Maria Christina. I understand naman po, mahina talaga ang net sa panahon ngayon. So, in that case po, pwede naman ninyong balikan na lang yung replay. Okay, it's time. So, okay na po ba? May nakasolve po ba dito? So, ang solution po natin dito is of course, kagaya lang kanina, ipapasok lang natin siya sa loob ng repeat block. So, again, kagaya ng ginagawa ko, pwede natin isingit muna yung repeat sa taas, dito sa win run, tapos ito, yung buong block na to, i-click nyo lang yung repeat, ipasok nyo lang sa loob ng repeat block na yan. Na yung lagi natin. May question si Ma'am Diana Hamid. Paano po nawala isang blue na block ko sa ilalim, sa 11, na delete po po ata? Okay lang po ma'am. Pwede niyo po pong ibalik. Ah, na-delete. Nawala siya, no? Hmm, paano nga pala mangyari pag na wala na kasing block dito na available? Pwede, ma'am, try niyo pong i-ano, i, i, i box sa 10, or i-refresh na lang, siguro. Hindi ko pa naranasan yun na nawala ang block. Kasi nga, try nga natin. Kung na-delete dito, mahirap nga naman ibalik ito kasi walang available block para sa turn right. O, disgrasya na ito. Try niyo pong i-refresh, ma'am, no? Or back to 10, tas back to 11. Try nyo po yun. Baka bumalik din siya. Please tell me po kung okay na. Ayun, sabi ni Sir Dennis, refresh daw, refresh. Refresh po. Nakabalik na po ba, ma'am? Evangeline? Okay, anyway, habang naghihintay kay ma'am. So, let's try to run this one na, no? So, naglagay na tayo ng 90 degrees to, dun sa turn right, dun sa turn black. And then, ang gagawin na lang natin is repeat, repeat four times na lang. Repeat four times. 
Okay na po. Okay na. Okay na po. Yan, na-refresh na naman. So, let's run. So, yan po yung ating solution. Yan, nagawa niya. So, four times. Let's continue. Let's move to the level 12. Yan. So, yung iba yata ay nag-exit na. Maraming salamat sa mga nag- nag ano baka nagkaroon lang po ng problem yung iba medyo nabawasan po tayo ng viewers anyway mare-replay pa naman nila tong video na to no pag na-receive nila yung replay link okay let's move to the level 12 now let's create a snowflake by using the repeat blocks to repeat a parallelogram 10 times turn right by 36 degrees between each one so, madali lang din to kagaya lang din to kanina. So, 36 times ulit ang pinapa-repeat niya. I will give you uh, 30 seconds. So, habang nagsasalita ako. So, 36 times. So, this is 360. Ay, 10 times pala. Sorry. 10 times black. So, this is 360 divided by 10. 36 degrees ang rotation na kailangan. So, lagyan na natin ng 30 degrees dito. So, kagaya lang to kanina. Maglalagay lang ulit tayo ng another repeat block. Nag-back na daw siya ng 10, hindi pa rin siya bumalik. Mm. Opo, pwede namang balikan, ma'am. Or, try nyo ulit po i-refresh. Okay na po. So, it's already time. So, we'll now solve. So, idadrag lang natin itong repeat block. Ang then kagaya kanina po, ipapasok lang natin itong lahat ng to sa loob ng repeat 10 times. And then we are sure now na 36 degrees ang distance ng bawat isa. Okay? So, we're now sure na equally distance na sila lahat. Ma'am, if you are having problem with level 11, pwede nyo pong balikan na lang yan mamaya. So, pwede na po kayo mag-proceed muna sa level 12. Pwede nyo balikan yung level 11 later. No? Okay. So, we'll now run. Okay na po ba lahat? So, ang ganda na ng create niya na snowflake. So, take note po, pag lumabas po ito, pwede po natin i-share yung ginawa natin sa Facebook, Twitter, or pwede rin natin i-print or send to your phone. Okay? So, we can press continue. Tingnan na natin. Mayroong mga hindi nag-start pa. Benji Pangilinan, Bernadette Buscano. Okay, before we, we move on, papakita ko lang po sa inyo yung mga progress. So, ganito po yun, no? Nakikita po natin yung progress ng students na nag-register sa ating section. Okay, din po to kung ipapa Activity ninyo ito sa inyong students. Makikita ninyo yung progress. So, papakita ko lang kung paano natin binuksan yung progress. Kunyari, nandun tayo sa dashboard. So, ito yung dashboard natin. Tapos, meron po tayong makikita dito na students lalabas po dito. Classroom section. Naglo-load lang po, kaya hindi pa natin nakikita. Try natin. Uh, try natin. Ayan, loading na. Okay. So, ito yung makikita natin sa dashboard, sa classroom section na ginawa natin. So, ito ngayon yung mga sumali, no? So, webinar lesson 2. Ito tayo sa webinar lesson 2, batch 1. So, instead of clicking the course title, 
as an instructor, as instructor po ito, instead of clicking the course title, ang i-click natin is yung section para lumabas po yung progress report. So, ang section name natin ngayon sa ating webinar na Code with Anna and Elsa is Webinar Lesson 2, Batch 1. Click-click po yan. So, of course, it's up to you po kung anong gusto ninyong ipangalan sa section ninyo. Nakalagay or naka, makikita nyo naman po yun dun sa instruction video on how to create a section. Okay. So, lesson. Ito yung kalalabasan. By lesson siya. Nakaklik yung by lesson. Ikiklik lang natin yung levels. Ito po siya yan, levels. Makikita natin yung kabuan na progress ng students. So, nakita ko dito si ma'am ay Katrina Val... Valencia ba to? Um, yung level 11 po niya naka light green. So, yan po ang titinan natin sa mga progress ng students natin, no? So, pag light green po siya, ibig sabihin, nagawa niya yung um, problem, pero sumobra siya ng blocks. Sumobra po siya. Kung mapapansin po kasi natin dito sa ating um, workspace, may nakalagay po dyan na 4 over 6. Ang ibig sabihin po ng denominator na 6, that is the maximum blocks that you are allowed to use. If you use more than the 6 blocks, pero nagawa pa rin naman ninyo yung activity, magigreen siya, pero light green lang po ang malalabas. Light green. So, pag light green, pwede po natin sabihin sa ating students na balikan po nila yan para isolve pa nila. No? So, I'm not sure kung bakit po ngayon, this time, teacher view is not available for this puzzle. Hindi nito pwedeng mag-view yung teacher. Pero last time po kasi yung ginagamit ko po ito last year, uh, pwede pong i-view ng teacher yung ginawa ng student. Uh, di ko lang po alam nung nag-update po yung code.org, naging ganito na, hindi ko na po siya ma-view as a teacher. But anyway, pwede nyo pong puntahan yung student ninyo and i-remind po siya na, na balikan yung level 11 at i-improve pa. Although nagawa niya yung, yung, ano, yung level, nagawa niya yung problem, na-solve niya yung problem pero sumubra siya ng blocks. Uh, that means, baka hindi po siya gumamit ng repeat block. Baka ang ginamit niya is yung blocks na marami, dinugtong-dugtong niya. Sumubras siya sa maximum allowed. Okay, any more question? May ibang question pa ba tayo dyan? Si ma'am, ano? Okay na ba? Okay. So, I remind lang po dito kay ma'am ay Katrina. Alicia, nasa level, tapos siya sa level 20 pero may light green pa po kayo sa level 17. So, yung iba na sa level 12. So, naghihintay siguro ito. Oo nga. So, an, si Ma'am Anna Fe, level 7, light green. So, wala pa po kayong 8, 19, 11, 12. Habol na lang. So, repeat niya lang yung mga light green. Ito po, may nakikita naman tayo dito na border lang yung kulay green. Ibig sabihin po nito, inopen lang ng student yung activity. Ongoing siya to solve the puzzle. Pero hindi pa niya nasasolve. Yun po yung ibig sabihin niyan. So, ongoing siya ng solving border green, no? Tingnan nyo may border na, na kulay green. Ito yung si ma'am, ay, si, si Sir Benji. Benji Q. I cannot read po the family name. So, nakikita natin, naka-border green siya, no? So, ibig sabihin, na-open lang niya siguro to, pero hindi pa nagagawa yung problem. So, Bernadette, wala pa po. So, ang pinaka, ano po dyan, pinaka magandang solution is yung solid green po talaga ang color. So, I remind lang po yung iba, no, tingnan po ninyo, makikita rin naman ninyo sa inyong workspace, dun sa ibabaw, upper part, nakikita ninyo dun kung solid green ba or light green ba yung color ninyo. Kung light green, I suggest, balikan po ninyo and you improve. Pwede nyo pong tingnan yung solution natin. No? So, Caroline, Gilalas, may light green din po kayo. Balikan nyo yan. Okay po, so, so much for that. Ayan, marami kasi tayong uh, sumali. Yung iba po para hindi pa nakapag-start or hindi pa nagawa, baka may problem sa internet connection, pwede nyo pong balikan. Please take note po makukuha nyo yung certificate pag natapos nyo lahat ng activity. Now, let's proceed to level 13. So, level 13 na po tayo. Okay. Ano tayo? Ayan, level 13. So, a circle is a special shape. Can you figure out what number to replace the question marks with to draw a circle? So, ano, ano daw kailangan? I think we do not need to add any blocks in this problem. Ang kailangan lang natin is, lagyan natin kung how many times 
does it need to repeat to create a circle? So take note, ang ating command dito is move forward 1 pixel and turn right 1 degrees. Analyze natin ilan beses siya dapat mag-move ng ganito para makabuo ng isang circle. Please, balikan po natin yung solution na ginawa natin kanina. Analyze natin. Anyway, may set color lang dito na available. Para po maging colorful yung ating circle, pwede natin ilagyan ng ano, set random color. Gusto nyo, maglagay ka. Ay, hindi ko pala mailalagay. So, hindi talaga tayo pwede. Ay, pwede sa ilalim yan. Kung gusto nyo maglagay ng set color, pwede nyo ilagay sa ilalim para magkaroon ng random color. Ma'am, ginilo daw siya yan. Eh. There's still power to check. Pacheck ba yun sa kanina? Pacheck nga po yung sa akin. Si Ma'am Ginilo ba yan? Oo, oh, siya yan. Ah, okay. Ay, Ma'am Ginilo Yan, yan, sige. So, check daw natin yung kay Ma'am Jenny Lu. Pwede na, bawag mo lang i-vote ka. Oo, sa akin lang naman. Ayan, si Ma'am Jenny Lu Pangilinan. Ay, tapos na kayo, Ma'am. <laughs> si Ma'am Jenny Lu Pangilinan, nagpa-check po nung kanya. Tapos na ka po kayo, Ma'am. And perfect po siya, perfect score. Kita natin. So, tinan nyo po si Ma'am Jenny Lu Pangilinan, tapos na siya, no? Solid green po lahat. So, itong mga solid green lahat, perfect score na po yan. Kagaya po nito ni Janet Isgera, Ma'am Janet, perfect score na rin yan. Solid green po lahat hanggang level 20. So, yan po ang gagayahan natin dapat. No? Kung light green, please take note. Kung light green po, kailangan yung balikan para ma-improve. So, balik tayo dito. Ah, 30 seconds pala. I forgot to set the timer. 30 seconds again before we reveal the solution. J or J? J. Yan. So, baka magtaka kayo, may kausap po ako dito, may assistant po ako dito ng taga-type po ng message. <laughs> ah, ah naglalag daw yung video ni Ma'am Jenny Lu. Oo nga, lag talaga ito, Ma'am. Okay, it's time already. So, balik po tayo dun sa ating ano, kanina, no? Ano may solution. Ay, dito pala. So, ang, ang target po natin dito is makagawa ng circle. So, ang movement niya is 1 pixel forward per 1 degree. Ngayon, dun tayo titingin sa degree para malaman natin kung ilang beses natin siyang i -re repeat So, parang kagayan lang yan kanina. Sabi ko nga, pareho lang yan ng solution kanina. 1 circle is equals to 360 degrees total. So, ang gagawin lang natin is i-divide. Baliktad naman tayo ngayon. Kung ilang degrees yung nilagay ninyo, yun yung i-divide natin sa 360 degrees. So, ginamitan niya kanina ng 1 degree lang, di ba? So, that will be 360. So, number, number of times ito. Gagawin natin number of times. Number of times. Is equals to 360 degrees divided by how many degrees is used per movement. So, of course, 360 divided by 1 is equals to 360. So, 360 times po ang gagawin natin. Yun yung ilalagay natin sa repeat. So, I hope nakuha natin, no? Ganun lang po. So, it, ganito ang paraan para ma-apply natin yung match sa problem sa, sa activity net activity na ito. As I mentioned nga well ago, may mathematics ito. So, pwede nyo bigyan ng challenge yung students ninyo bago nyo bigyan yung solution. Mag-iisip sila ngayon, ilan ba nga ang kailangan? And yung kailangan lang natin tingnan dyan is yung degrees. Kung ilang degrees ang ginamit natin na rotation, yun yung ilalagay, ay i-divided by natin sa 360. Actually, pwede natin palitan nyan ng 2 degrees, 3 degrees. Kung 2 degrees, 360 divided by 2, magiging Ilan na lang? So, depende po yan kung ilan yung movement na inilagay natin, ilang pixels. Pwede nyo pong baguhin, no? So, kung 360 divided by 2, one, magiging 180 degrees na lang siya. Okay? 180 degrees. 180 times pala. Sorry, sorry. Now, we will uh, move and uh, press run. So, run our program. Kung tama po bang ginawa natin. Yan. So, dahil naglagay tayo ng set random color, naroon na ng random color na yung bawat pixel. One pixel lang kasi sa pixel. Stack lang, diba? 
Okay. So, you've completed puzzle 13. Let's move to the puzzle 14. So, I believe yung iba tapos na, pero sundan nyo lang po yung ating video. Okay. So, let's play this introduction first, no, before we proceed to the next one. One of the most important concepts in computer science is how to define new commands, how to add your own words to a computer language. Most computer languages have only about 100 words or commands, and really the art and magic is in defining your own new words out of these building blocks. We do this all the time in sports. For example, in basketball, you start by learning how to dribble, how to do a layup, how to rebound. Once you've learned these really basic moves, you learn new moves and put together these building blocks, like a pick and roll or a give and go. And you can then go from there to do more complex plays. And once you learn that play and give it a name, everybody on the team knows how to do it. Similarly, once you've taught a computer how to do an action once using these sequence of commands, you can make up your own name for that action. So it's easy to repeat it later. When you define your own command and give it a name, that's called a function. When programming with blocks, you would use functions if there are a set of actions you're gonna wanna use lots of times. For example, You've written code to create a square. You can define this as a function called create square. And now you have a new block that you can use multiple times to create multiple squares. A lot of simple shapes can be used to create more complex patterns. In the next puzzle, the code you recently wrote to make a circle is available to you as a new function that can make circles of different sizes. Can you use it to help Elsa create an intricate and beautiful pattern in the snow? Ayan, so the video introduction for the level 14 is done. Okay, so this time, nagkaroon po tayo ng additional block which is called function block. Ito pong may nakalagay dito na create a circle. This is a function block. So, nakita nyo naman kanina kung paano tayo nag-create ng circle. So, to create a circle, we will repeat the move forward 1 pixel, turn right 1 pixel, and repeat that 360 times to make a 360 degree circle. So, but this time, instead of writing a block step, a step by step command for the create a circle, ginawa na po niyang isang function. Yun po yung ibig sabi ng function. So, in coding, a function can be written separately na nakalagay po doon yung series of commands na gagawin ng function na yun. At yung function na to, pwede natin i-call doon sa ating main command or main blocks. So, kumbaga, nag-create lang tayo ng hiwalay na, na blocks or hiwalay na code para lang sa function. So, this function is actually composed of a series of command. Na, for example, nakalagay dyan create a circle. Ang laman ng create a circle na to na hindi lang pinapakita po dito, ang laman ng create a circle na to is yun yung laman nung level 13 kanina. Na naglagay tayo ng forward 1 pixel, Turn right 1 pixel, tas 360 degrees times. At ah, 360 times para sa 360 degrees. Ngayon, sabi niya dito, use the new create a circle block to create 10 overlapping circles. Don't forget to jump forward between circles. Okay. So, ang kailangan po daw natin is 10 circles. Pero instead of in a rotary motion or direction ito, straight line ang distance ng circle. So, naglagay sila ulit ng bagong block which is the jump forward. So, jump forward means magja-jump forward si Elsa na hindi magkikreate ng line. Magja-jump forward siya na walang kinikreate na line. So, ito lang po ay para mag-jump siya papunta sa idrawing niya na pangalawang circle. Okay na po. So, will, again, I will give you 30 seconds to solve. 30 seconds before I reveal the solution. So, gagamit pa rin tayo dito ng repeat blocks. Please don't forget the repeat blocks.
Okay, it's already time. Keep lang po. Level 14. 20. Okay, so the first block that we will use is of course the repeat block. So repeat 10 times natin. Ipasok natin siya sa loob, create a circle. So tatapusin po niya yung create a circle bago siya mag-jump. Yun pong ibig sabihin nun. So shortcut na po yan. Ngayon, how many pixels do you think we need ang jump forward para makapunta siya sa next circle? So, kung ano po yung position ngayon ni Elsa after creating the first circle, yun din yung magiging position niya at the end of the command ng creator circle. So, ang gagawin na lang natin is kailangan na lang natin siya ng jump forward para mag-proceed sa next position, then create another circle, jump forward for the next position, circle again. So, straight line lang siya. Okay. So, ngayon, kung hindi po kayo sure, pwede po natin i-try muna yung pinakamaliit, 25 pixels. Try natin kung gagana. So, jump forward 25 pixels, then create another circle. Ayan. So, basically, sa nakikita natin, tama po yung 25 pixels. Jump forward. Okay. Ayan. Tapos na. So, we're done. Then, we will proceed now to level 50. Ayan, malapit na po tayo matapos. Baka yung iba po ay nainip na, nag-alisan na yata. <laughs> oh, I consider naman baka nagloko lang yung signal. Okay, let's proceed to the next one, level 15. Now, let's create 20 overlapping circles turning 18 degrees between each circle. Okay. So, create a circle, jump forward by how many pixels, turn right by um, turn right by, of course, basically 18 degrees is siguro kailangan natin gawin dito. So, may overlap daw siya. Create 20 overlapping circles, turning 18 degrees between each circle. So, this time, nag-create tayo ng, ano, rotation. So, magkikreate siya ngayon ng, in a circular motion na distance ng bawat circle. So, before we reveal again, I will give you 30 seconds. So, baka may questions pa po. Comment lang. So, may mga nakatapos na po. Okay lang. Then, if you are done, you can claim your certificate from code.org. Okay. Thank you very much for attending. Yan. So, time is up. Okay. So, sabi niya dito, 18 degrees. Okay. So, the 18 degrees is the same reason from before kasi 20 circles ang kailangan natin. No? Yan. So, yung 20, yung 18 degrees na yan ay nanggaling yan sa solution na 360 divided by 20. So, kung titignan natin, So again, 360 degrees isang rotation ng circle divided by ilang beses mong gagawin yung circle, 20 overlap uh, 20 times, no? 20 overlapping times. 20 degrees divided by 20 times. Kaya naging 18 degrees ang turning natin. So 18 degrees turning natin para equal distance ulit siya. Okay. So ang gagamitin natin ngayon na solution ay So, ang pinakamababang distance dito So, kung hindi po tayo sure kung ilang distance na gagamitin natin sa jump forward Gamitin ulit natin yung pinakamababa 50 pixels And then, turn right by 18 degrees And then, kulang pa po siya ng repeat no So, don't forget again As I mentioned a while ago, don't forget the repeat block To repeat this 20 times And each command will give a 50 pixel forward After creating a circle 
50 pixels forward and then turn right by 18 degrees. Then press run. Okay, we're gonna put Let's move on to the level 16. Here's a create circle block that can make circles of different sizes. Can you use this to create a small circle of size 5 and a larger circle circle of size 10? So this time, wala na pong binigay na, na ano, no? Given, wala nang binigay na blocks sa loob ng workspace. So kayo na mismo ang maglalagay. Okay. So, meron tayong dinagdag na, meron silang dinagdag na blocks doon sa, actually, function block pa rin ito. So, lagyan natin dyan. Function block pa rin ito, pero this time, pwede kang pumili ng size. So, sabi niya, kailangan mo daw gumawa ng circle na size 5, tsaka yung isang circle size 10. So, try po natin gawin yan. Again, 30 seconds will be given. Ano sinasabi mo kanina? Baka natakpan na yung comment. Level 16 na. Okay, time's up. So, very easy lang po. So, since dalawa lang naman kailangan natin, uh, pwede tayo maglagay ng set random color. Ang dagdag lang ng design. So, the first block daw is make a circle of size 5. Ganun lang po kadali. The second circle is size 10. So, lalagyan natin size 10. So, for this time, wala muna tayong repeat block kasi dalawang circle lang naman ang hinihingi niya. First circle, size 5. Second circle, size 10. So, let's move on. And we will play. Ano lang po, madali lang yung level 16, no? So, we're done. We'll proceed now to the level 17. Now, uh, intricate snow patterns can be created with very simple shapes. Can you make a pattern by repeating 5 circles of size 5? And 5 circles of size 10. So, this time, gagamit na tayo ng repeat block. So, galing sa blocks kanina, I will give you 30 seconds again to solve before we reveal the answer. So, same lang din to ng ginagawa natin kanina. No? Add repeat block, 2 repeat, ilang beses? 5 circles. And then, solve again the number of degrees or the angle. Just like what we did a while ago, 360 degrees divided by how many times you need to repeat the circles. So, we're going to repeat that 5 times. So, 360 divided by 5. Yun yung gagamitin natin na angle. Okay, time's up. Let's proceed. So, create. Uh, first, ang munang gagawin ko is ilalagay ko muna siya sa loob ng repeat. Ganyan. And then, the first. Circle is size 5. The second circle is size 10. So, gagawin muna niya yung isang size 5, isang size 10 for the first command. After that, ilang degrees ba? So, 360 divided by 5. Hindi ko pa pala na solve. So, 360 divided by 5 is 72 degrees. Di ba? Tama ba ako? 72 degrees. Para mabuo niya yung isang circle na 5 ay isang buong rotation Na, na mayroong 5 circles. So, I will repeat that. That will be 72. 72 ang gagamitin natin ngayon. Okay. So, okay na yan. So, 5 times. So, 360 divided by 5 is 72 degrees. So, we will press run. So, ganyan lang po siya. Okay, we're done. Let's proceed to level 18. May question pa? Wala na, wala. I'm not sure kung tapos na ba lahat. Wala nang nagko-question dito. 
Tingnan natin. Okay, let's proceed to the level 18. Try using the create a snowflake branch block to create three branches, which starts to look like a snowflake. Okay. So, meron na tayong create a snowflake branch. So, ang gagawin po ng create a snowflake branch is gagawin mismo niya yung isang buong branch na yan. So, kailangan lang natin dagdagan pa siya ng angle kung ilang degrees siya mag-turn para sa next branch. So, again, 30 seconds before we reveal the solution. Halos lahat naman po ay tapos na, no? Yung iba, sumusubaybay din. May mga nakikita pa ako nasa level 18 pa lang. Ongoing. Yan. Yung mga kabisado na talaga, okay, time's up. Mga kabisado na talaga, pwede na pong magdere so Okay, next. We will now solve. Okay, so, ilan bang kailangan natin? So, repeat. Do we need to repeat three times? Yes, we do. Create a snowflake. And then, lagay tayo ng random color. Tapos, turn right. So, turn right po ang kailangan natin. Turn right. So, ilang degrees po ang kailangan natin para ma makaproceed siya sa next snowflake? So, kung titignan natin, nasa, this is 90 degrees, di ba? 90 degrees yung right angle. Nasa gitna siya ng right angle, so that will be 45 degrees. So, magta-turn right siya ng 45 degrees before it proceed to the next branch. Actually, itong set color, hindi naman po siya required, pero since may available blocks pa tayo, 6 ang maximum block, pwede pa natin ilagay. No? So, para mag-create lang tayo ng design. Okay, so we will play, play now. Press play. Ayan. So, nakaset na po yung function to create snowflake branch. And we're done. So, level 19 na. So, talawang level na lang po. Tapos na tayo. Okay, so for level 19, ang gagawin lang natin dito is, now let's repeat 8 times to make a beautiful snowflakes. So kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, 45 degrees ang distance, ang angle distance ng bawat, ng bawat branch. No? So I will give you 30 seconds again before we proceed to the solution. So 30 seconds for those who are following. Okay. So next time po, baka magkaroon tayo ng paraful pag dumami na po yung subscribers natin. Most probably pag naka 1,000 plus tayo. No? Kunti pa lang po kasi yung subscriber namin. Pwede po kayo mag-invite ng mga kakilala ninyo para mag-subscribe. At ito pong video na to pala for your information, ipapublic lang namin para ma-view din siya ng lahat. So hindi na po kailangan mag register sa aming uh, registration form. Kung may kakilala po kayo na gustong manood nito, pwede nyo i-share din yung link na ipinadala sa email ninyo or pwede nyo silang sabihin na punta lang sa Kiros Vlogs YouTube channel, makikita ninyo na ninyo ito sa aming video list, itong video na to webinar. Pat pati yung previous webinar na po namin, pwede na, na, pwede na rin po nilang mapanood kahit hindi naka-pag-sign up. And then, let's proceed. So, level 19. So, ilan beses daw dapat i-repeat? 8 times. So, again, we will uh, add repeat block. Insert this command inside the repeat block. Repeat 8 times. Maglagay tayo ng color para sa design. Tapos, turn right turn right by 45 degrees. Lagay lang ng ginawa natin. That's it. So, tapos na po. Question? So, let's run. Last na. Last na. Let's go. Let's
Okay, we're done. So, level 20 na. So, ito pong level 20 is actually walang requirement dito. So, you've officially become a master artist. Create a winter wonderland. So, wala pong prerequisite dito. Kayo po ang gagawa ng sarili ninyong design. Tsaka, yung design ninyo, pwede po ninyong i-share sa inyong Facebook, sa Twitter, sa email sa inyong mga friends. Yan. So, bibigyan ko po kayo ng one minute para matapos yung design ninyo. And, siguro, magkikrate din ako ng sarili kong design. So, again, wala pong requirement ito, no? Sarili nyong gawa. So, one minute starts now. So, may mga provided na po tayo dito na blocks. For example, kung gusto nyo na ng, ano, circle, circular yung inyong, may circle yung inyong, ano, pagaya niya, magkakrate tayo. Sa lagi lang siyang may turn right. So, sariling gawa nyo na po ito. Huwag niyo pong sundan yung ginagawa ko ha. Sariling gawa nyo ito dapat. Sariling design niyo Kung anong gusto niyo yung gawin na snowflakes. So, for example, gusto ko siyang eight, gumawa ng circle na 8 times muna. Gawin natin size 5. Tapos, kung 8 times yan, of course, 45 degrees ang kailangan. And then, gusto ko siyang dagdagan ng snowflake. Yan. Snowflake of, ano ba yung kanina? Okay, it's ready time. Sige po, maglagay lang kayo. Uh, ano ba yung kanina? Branch, fractal ba yun? Flower, yan. Daming pagpipilian kung ano pong ah, create snowflake type. Ah, ito palang create a snowflake type. Hindi na siya kailangan nilagay sa black, sa repeated black. Pwede siya dito sa labas. Automatic na po kasi ito, no? So, for example, gusto nyo ng parallelogram. Yan. So, let's try this one. Ito yung creation ko, no? So, circle ako. Ano ko pa lang yung lagay ng circle na yan? O kung gusto ko ng mas malaking circle para medyo mag-iba yung design niya, lagay natin 10, size 10 ang circle natin. Maroon ako sa isin na circle at sa loob niya may paralelogram. Diba? So, kayo po bahala mga iba't ibang combination ng shape, iba't ibang itsura ng snowflakes. No? So, kung nakikita nyo naman, pwede kayo makapag-create ng iba't ibang snowflakes. So, yes, iba't ibang design. So, use your imagination. Imagination is the limit. So, I can see wala na pong nagko-comment. Siguro tapos na po. So, that's it for our activity. So, if you are done uh, right, creating your own code or creating your own design of a snowflake, ikiklik lang po natin yung finish. Kasi hindi po siya automatic mag-finish this time dahil, of course, since uh, sariling creation nyo ito, walang requirement, ang gagawin nyo lang is ipiplay ninyo, tapos tinan nyo kung satisfied na kayo sa ginawa ninyong snowflake, Kunyari ito, satisfied na ako dito. Ang gagawin ko lang is click finish. Kung hindi pa ako satisfied, i-click ko yung reset. And then I will add another command para mag-create ng another um, blocks, another snowflake type. Yan. So this time, since satisfied na ako, i-click ko na yung finish. So click finish. And then, lalabas itong window. Again, pwede natin i-share sa inyong Facebook, share to Twitter. Add to projects, pwede rin. So, itong add to projects is papasok po ito doon sa ating account, no? Papasok to as a project in our account. Doon sa dashboard natin. Yan, added. So, in ko siya. Pwede nyo i-publish. Send to phone. So, click finish. Kung tapos na tayo. Tingnan natin, no? Kung nakatapos ba lahat. So, sa mga wala pa pong certificate, ito po yung kalalabasan. Actually, um, same lang po ito ng certificate previously kasi hour of code din naman po yung ginawa natin on our pre previous webinar which is the classic maze. So, same lang po ito. Kung mayroon na po kayong certificate nung previous nung dati, pwede na po yun. Pero kung wala pa sa mga bagong subscribers lang po natin, bagong nag-sign up lang, hindi nakatin ng previous webinar, I suggest you create this one. So, ang gagawin lang po natin is just type our complete name 
Okay, kung nakakasunod po tayo. So, I can see, tapos na naman po lahat. Ayan, nakasunod lahat, naka-level 20. Pero may mga nakikita lang po akong iba, no, na tingnan natin po yung ating view dito. So, may nakikita lang po ako dito na iba na may light green pa po na color. I suggest, balikan po ninyo yun. Please improve. At pwede po ninyong balikan yung video natin para sa solution. Or if you want, you can uh, solve that on your own. Try to solve that on your own. Improve. Ganon din po ang pwede nyong pagawa sa estudyante ninyo. So, pag nakita, may nakita kayong light green, pabalik nyo ko sa kanila para mag-improve pa sila. No? May nakikita rin po ako ng mga white pa. Ibig sabihin, hindi pa po nagagawa. So, most probably, may problem to sa internet connection. Pwede nyo rin po yung balikan. So, pag nagawa nyo na po lahat, marireceive nyo na yung inyong certificate. Any question? Wala nang question. Puro tayo nang may susulat. <laughs> anyway, sige. Tatapusin na po natin. Baka nainip na po sila. Uh, let's proceed. So, after after writing down your, typing down your complete name, ang gawin lang po natin is submit. Yan. So, magtataka po kayo kasi marami pong nagkakaproblema dito. Sabi, bakit daw hindi lumalabas yung pangalan sa certificate? Try nyo pong i-click. I-click po natin itong picture na to. Kung nasusundan po ninyo, please click nyo po ninyo yung picture. Ito yung ayun. Ayan, hintay nyo lang din. Lalabas din po. Medyo natatagalan lang, lang talaga. Siguro yung iba, masyado talaga mabagal yung internet connection. Kaya hindi agad lumalabas yung pangalan. May, may mga iba nagreklamo po na bakit daw wala pong pangalan dun sa certificate. Okay. So, from this, at this point, pwede po natin immediately print siya kung may connected po na printer sa ating laptop or sa computer. Okay? Kung wala, sakaling wala namang pong printer, gusto nyo i-print in the future pa, i-click nyo lang po itong icon na to, yung picture icon. Click yan. Okay, so click po natin yan. Lalabas po yung enlarged view ng inyong certificate. Yan. Lalabas po yung enlarged view. Sana po wala na pong magtanong sa email namin, no? Kasi na napupuno po ng tanong yung aming email tungkol sa mga certificate. Ito na po yung instruction kung nanonood po kayo ng maayos. Oo, basta matapos lang po yung activity, makukuha po ninyo yung certificate. So, ganyan, nalabas na siya ng ganyan, di ba? Okay, so ang next step natin, since this is a picture, this is a picture that can be saved in either PNG or jpeg format ang gagawin na po natin is right click please take note right click po yan right click hindi nyo lang po kasi nakakita sa dito sa ating screen yung right click na ginagawa ko no pero lalabas po dyan yung save image ikiklik po natin yung save image as okay po so again I will right click this one Ah, napindot ko po. Pwede po palang ipindutin ulit para ma-enlarge pa ulit siya. Sige. Okay lang naman na nabubuksan naman siya ng ating signal ngayon. So, napa-enlarge ko pa siya ulit by clicking again. Left click ha. Left click para ma-enlarge ulit. Kung gusto nyo yung enlarge ulit para mas maganda yung pagkakasave ng pixels or ng quality. Yan. Antayin lang po natin. Medyo matagal lang po talaga siya dahil malaking uh, quality or malaki po ang quality ng picture na ito para ma-insure po ng code.org na pag print natin, hindi po siya pixelized or hindi siya malabo. No? Malinaw talaga siya. Okay. So, ganyan na po yung kalalabasan. May firma po yan ng owner ng code.org website. Okay. I'm sorry po may aso kami dito. Okay, so from this point, hintayin lang natin siyang mag-full view. Kasi pag ni-right click po natin na hindi naka-full, baka po maputol yung ma-save natin na picture. Ayan, so consider natin na full na siya. So ang gagawin po natin, right click lang. Right click and then save image as. So right click tapos save image as. Okay po. Save image as, tapos pwede po natin i-select kung JPEG format ba ang gusto nyo or PNG format. Either way naman po, pwede mo siya, naman po siya. And then, after ma-save ninyo as JPEG or PNG format, pwede nyo naman po siyang i-print in the future. Okay. 
Okay, that's all for now. Thank you very much po sa mga umatin sa ating web webinar ngayon. Thank you very much. And uh, again, I would like to ask um, everyone to please subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet. So, I'm very grateful na marami pong umatin kahit papano. Hindi po tayo nag 100% no kasi ang nag-register po sa ating application uh, registration form is 200 plus, around 200 50 yata yun, pero ang nag po ngayon is nasa 100 something lang, 90, 90 lang pala. Oo, pero anyway, mapapanood, yung mga hindi po nakapanood ngayon, I understand naman, baka, baka kasi busy lang po sila, baka busy lang kayo, so uh, the link will be sent to your email ad naman after this webinar. Uh, I actually, I scheduled it at 6pm today, so mamayang 6pm, abangan po ninyo yung link para sa replay. Yan. So, mapapanood pa nila yun sa replay in another day. Baka mamaya, uh, free na sila. Tapos, yun. Mapapanood pa nila yun. So, again, I'm... Ano? Happy Mother's Day ulit sa kain. Yan. So, Happy Mother's Day po ulit sa mga mothers na attendees natin. Tsaka, keep safe at home. So, since hindi pa po natatapos tong in-cove, I suggest stay safe, stay at home lang po tayo. So, yan. Again, thank you po. Thank you for watching. So, before we end, if we play, yung, before we end, if we play ko po ulit yung um, introduction video after that. Bye-bye uh, na po. So, thank you. Again, thank you very much po and goodbye. God bless po sa lahat. Hi, I'm Leah. And I'm Tanya. And we're lucky enough to be studying computer science. Hi, I'm Tanya. We think it's terrible that 90% of schools don't teach it. They definitely didn't offer it at my high school. Thanks, thanks. So we're trying to make this video to show that anybody can learn. We want to get 10 million students to do the Hour of Code. Hour of Code. Hour of Code. The Hour of Code. Hour of Code. Hour of Code. Hour of Code. The Hour of Code! How do you get him to get to the sunflower? He needs to do some actions. I got it. <laughs> hey! Oh. And then we'll run it and see what happens. <laughs> Amazing. Ah, there we go. You just wrote your first program. I wrote it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the code that you just wrote. Very awesome. I thought like code was like FBI hacker symbols <laughs> and stuff. A little bit of problem solving, a little bit of logic. It's like instructions. Programming is a lot easier today. Don't just play on your phone. Program it. All right. Awesome. How does someone go about getting a job? Maybe take an online class, find a class at a community college. You can get one of the best paying jobs in the world. I think medicine's moving into the whole computer age. Technology touches every part of our lives. If you can create technology, you can change the world. So we're excited that you are participating in today's Hour of Code. We just did two lines of code. Three lines of code! Four lines. Seven lines. Five lines.